Hello everyone, this is Teacher Mel. Today, we're going to discuss about parabola. Pag-aaralan natin how to find the vertex, focus, directrix, axis of symmetry, and endpoints of the latus rectum. But before that, i-define muna natin kung ano ang ibig sabihin ng salitang parabola. When we say parabola, it is the set of all points in a plane equidistant from a particular line, the directrix, and a particular point, the focus in the plane. Okay, so I have here the standard equations of the parabola, vertex at 0, 0, and then vertex at h and k. Now, so ipinakita ko itong table na ito para makita natin or ma-identify natin kung paano nga ba natin malalaman yung opening ng ating parabola. Find the focus, vertex, equation of the directrix, and points of the latus rectum of the parabola y plus 3 squared equal to 12 times x plus 1. Una muna, isusulat muna natin yung form of this equation. Ganun ang ginagawa ko. Sinusulat ko muna yung form of this equation. So, base form or given, ang form of our equation ay... We have y minus k squared equal to 4p and then x minus h. So, ayan yung form of this equation. Okay. So, I have here the formula for our vertex i h and k. Ang focus natin, the directrix, axis of symmetry, and endpoints of LR. Para meron tayong guide. So, nakikita nyo sa upper right ng ating screen. Now, alamin natin ang opening ng ating parabola kung pakaliwa nga ba or pakanan. Usually, ang iba ma-identify na agad nila based from the form ng ating equation. Okay. So, kapag hindi pa natin ma-identify, ang, ang gagawin natin is we need to find the value ng letter P natin. Okay. Solve. For the value of letter P. So, based sa ating formula, 4P is equal to 12. Saan galing si 12? Si 12 ay galing sa ating given. Para makuha natin ang value ni letter P, ang gagawin natin, we need to divide both sides by 4. Therefore, Ang ating letter P ay 3. 12 divide 4 ay 3. So, meron na tayong value ng letter P. Sulat ko muna dito sa baba. Ang ating letter P is equal to 3. Okay. Now, dahil ang P value natin ay positive at ito ay greater than 0, ibig sabihin, ang opening ng ating parabola ay to the right. It opens... Right, sa kanan. Okay. Next, alamin natin ang ating vertex. Okay. So, para malaman natin ang vertex natin, ang gagawin natin, yung y plus 3, equate natin sa 0. Tapos, yung x plus 1 din natin, equate natin sa 0. Base ito sa ating given. Para makuha natin ang value ng ating h and k. Okay. So, we need to subtract both sides by 3. Kaya, y is equal to negative 3. Sa kabila naman, we need to subtract both sides by 1. Kaya, ang value ng letter x natin ay equal to negative 1. Yung letter x natin, yan yung letter h natin. Ang y naman natin, yan yung ating letter k. Okay? So, ibig sabihin, ang ating h and k ay negative 1 and negative 3. Okay? So, we have, ang vertex natin ay negative 1 and negative 3. Okay? So, para para parehas, gawin lang din natin itong green. Opens, oops. Opens right. Okay. 
rewrite ko lang. Okay. So, meron na tayong value ng H and K natin. I'll just write it on the bottom para hindi ko malito. Ang letter H natin ay uh, negative 1. Ang ating letter K ay negative 3. Okay. So, K is equal to negative 3. Next ay find the focus. Okay. So, based sa ating table, ang ating table ay nakabase sa form, um, form of our equation. So, kung y, uh, y natin ang square, this would be our formula para sa ating focus, directrix, axis of symmetry, and then points of LR. So, para sa ating focus, okay, so this will be our formula para sa ating focus, and that is, Okay, I'll just write it first. For our focus, we have H plus P and then letter K. Meron na tayong letter H which is negative 1 plus ang letter P natin ay 3 and ang letter K natin ay negative 3. Okay, so i-add lang natin. Negative 1 plus 3, it becomes 2 and negative 3. Ibig sabihin, ang ating focus ay 2 and negative 3. Okay? Next naman, is we need to find the equation ng ating directrix. So, this would be our formula. This one. Okay. So, for our directrix, okay, so we have x is equal to h minus p. So, anong value ng letter h natin? It's negative 1 minus, ang value ng letter p natin ay 3. Therefore, ang ating equation ay x is equal to negative 4. Okay. So, ang equation ng ating directrix ay x is equal to negative 4. Okay. Now, we have the axis of symmetry. Okay. So, ang axis of symmetry natin is this one. y is equal to k. So, for our, okay, for our axis of symmetry, axis of symmetry okay we have y is equal to k okay so y is equal to anong value ng letter k natin ang value ng letter k natin ay negative 3 so we have y is equal to negative negative 3 okay so, this would be the value ng ating axis of symmetry. Ang equation natin ay y is equal to negative 3. Okay. Now, we find for our LR, end points ng ating LR. So, this would be our formula para sa end points ng ating LR. End points. End points of LR okay so copy ko muna so H plus P and then K plus or minus 2P okay so for our letter H we have negative 1 plus ang letter P natin ay 3 Ang letter K natin ay negative 3 plus or minus 2. And then, ang value ng letter P natin ay 3. So, we have 3. Okay? So, simplify lang natin. This becomes 2. Negative 3 plus or minus 2 times 3 ay 6. So, we have 6. 
Okay? And then, separate natin into 2. This becomes 2 minus 3 plus 6. And the other one ay 2 minus 3 minus 6. Okay? So, the final would be 2 and 3. The other one is 2 and negative 9. Therefore, ang ating endpoints ng LRI, we have 2, 3, and 2, and negative 9. Okay. Ayan. So, complete na ang ating solution. Meron na tayong opening ng parabola. May vertex na tayo. May focus. May equation ng ating directrix. May axis of symmetry. Mayroon na tayong endpoints ng ating LR. Next naman is, we need to graph. Iga-graph na natin ang ating equation. Okay, so, how to graph the equation? Para mag-graph natin ang ating equation, syempre, we start with the vertex. Okay, graph natin ang ating vertex. Ang ating vertex ay negative 1 and negative 3. So, nasa ang negative 1 and negative 3? It's here. Okay. So, ang vertex natin ay negative 1 and negative 3. Sumunod ay ang ating focus. Ang focus natin ay 2 and negative 3. So, it's here. Focus ay 2 and negative 3. Now, we have the directrix x is equal to negative 4 so where's the negative 4 1, 2, 3, 4 it's here ok so dotted line create a dotted line for our directrix ok so this is x is equal to negative 4 now, we have the axis of symmetry. Ang axis of symmetry natin ay y is equal to negative 3. Okay? So, we have here the axis, I mean the, tama, axis of symmetry. Okay. Got it? So, we have the axis of symmetry. Next, ipaplot natin ang ating LR endpoints ng ating LR. Which is uh, 2 and 3. Nasaan ang ating 2 and 3? So, 2 and 3, it's here. This is 2 and 3. And the other one is 2 and negative 9. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. So, it's here. 2 and 9. So, this is 2 and negative 9. Okay. And it opens right. Okay. This is, it opens right. Okay. Mm -hmm. Other side naman. Oops. Okay. So, this is the graph of our parabola. The quantity y plus 3 squared is equal to 12 times x plus 1. So, thank you for watching. Uh, please subscribe for more math videos.